There's that old great uh, Jimi Hendrix written by Bob Dylan, obviously, Watchtower, all on the Watchtower chords. You know, we, we use those chords in so many different ways, an A minor or a G and F. So you can do it from here too. But um, I, I, I did a shorty on this one. I did a short uh, lesson. I wanted to expand on that a little bit because a lot of people are interested in it. Uh, and, and they want to know, well, can you show us some other moves that go along with this? Now, the moves I showed so far were... Uh, I took that A minor, I did this kind of A minor, where you got the third finger on the seventh fret of the D string, and then flatten these out on the fifth fret. So what I like about that A minor is that you can do an open A to it. It's a different voicing than the low one, than the, which is nice too. And then I just do, I do kind of a part, what I call a partial, a partial G. You don't have to do the big cowboy chord on this particular one, you can just do and then an F, and then let it ring. And this is what it sounds like. Now I do a hammer-on, I go. So the hammer-on is, is a hammer-on from the five to the seven on the G string. But you see, I'm, I'm hitting it once and hammering on. I'm not, I'm not hitting those notes, I'm letting them ring. Okay, got that? Sorry. So what you want to do is come down on that low E string, a uh, low A string, sorry. Don't be afraid to let that ring out, it's okay. Get that rhythm feel. And then I did a little pickup. Four. And I'm just working up the low E and the A string there, third fret. Now, what you can do is you can alternate uh, different voicings from the high A minor, which is a nice sound. Or if you want to open it up and go to your regular A minor, which is, you know, just down here, and a big G. Slightly different sound. I kind of think that, I think that low lick goes really well with the low inversion, so... Or if you got two guitars, one person could play the low inversion. This is another way, you know, if somebody's soloing. I love that Jimi Hendrix version of Watchtower. Bob Dylan's version is cool, too, as, as well. People kept correcting me online and said, that's written by Bob Dylan. I know it's written by Bob Dylan. I'm Jimmy Dylan. How would I not know that? But, but I like Hendrix's version, and I think Dylan did, too. I know Dylan, too. He said it in his book. So anyway, uh, enough about the Hendrix stories, uh, although I saw him when I was 18, and that's another, that's another whole deal. Uh, and when you're playing uh, over that, if, if you want to play some licks, you can just use that in A minor pentatonic. Now what I, what I would say about that, that A minor pentatonic that I do is I, I tend to stretch out with that. So if you're doing this box thing, that sounds like a scale because it is a scale, but if you can take some of those notes and I call it slurring them or, or, or going up a half step. Half steps are great. You need a bend or, or I call this a slur. Just slipping and sliding. Just by bending those notes a little bit or, or moving them, bending is kind of cool because you know, like a Beatle thing. That's a double stop on the G and the B string, seventh fret, if you're comfortable with that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean by just, um, I'm going to play a real simple rhythm again and then I'm going to do some little fills and see what if that makes sense to you.
that box pattern. But now if I bend it, too crazy showing you each and every lick that I do because the truth is I, I just mess around and I do something different every time. But know that if you're working off that minor scale, which you know most of us know by now, if you can break out of that box a little bit by just stretching here and there or doing a half step. Or a whole step, but it's that little stretch. You don't really have to leave that box. You don't have to go up here. You can still stay in here. You got all the notes you need, you know. But do the half steps. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> um, I just got a call actually for, to do a session with him do it coming up in the Bay Area. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, so, so what I'm really getting at here is how do we shift back and forth voicing wise, also add some connective tissues, what I call it, you know, little special sauce licks that we do. And that way, it, it, whether it's you by yourself or with another person, you can sort of have somewhere to go, right? So if you're doing a rhythm, you're starting out going. You go up high. You got, you got some more to go. Okay. So then I just thought that's a way to, uh, to explore the, uh, the whole A minor G F thing that a lot of people really enjoy. I know I've got a, a bunch of hits on the on the shorter version of that, and this is a longer version, obviously. But um, there's really a lot to to do there. Whether you're playing all along the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix, or you're playing a, a any number of songs that have those chords in it, so many, so many songs, and lots of different rhythms. you can get out of that and if you just add some of the uh, cool little looks that I showed you there I think you'll find that it just frees you up to have a voicing or a you know a little filler in there that makes the whole thing come alive so I'll leave you with a little bit of a few licks that I just sort of outlined for you but I'll do them in my own way so I'll do that open up with it <laughs> you to have a small vocabulary of licks that work around those changes because you'll find them a lot there's a lot of different songs and if you can get comfortable with that it's going to serve you well i'll see you down the road <laughs> 